Namaste and welcome to our tutorials. This is part one. I'm dividing them into uh, sections to make it easier. A little bit of theory first, or just a little story first. Uh, why full vinyasa? Guruji said to me that Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga is 99% practice, 1% theory. And so initially I took that to mean that uh, not to bother so much with the theory, and like the Nike symbol or the slogan, to just do it. So initially my practice became more of a workout, but as I've continued to practice and learned the counted method, by counting through the vinyasa, it acted like a mantra. And the mantra then started to clear away all the unnecessary programs and conditionings that weren't serving me. And at that point, my practice really changed. I started to look in and my practice became more of a sadhana than a workout. When my practice started to become a work in, I realized how I had to reclaim my first city of awareness, attention, curiosity, inquiry, a bit of sense of adventure, and also imagination. When I really started to look into myself and practice this way, the meaning of Guruji's 99% practice, 1% theory changed. And I realized that in order to really progress, I had to learn many 1%. So instead of 99% practice, 1% theory, I translate it now as take 1% theory and practice at 99%. So when I really began to look into the workings of the practice, I discovered that there were many 1% or 1% techniques, many techniques that all needed to come together in order to make a transition or a transcendence to a new level. So when I looked into the full vinyasa, every time you do a full vinyasa, really it's born from Surya Namaskar A. And so if we go back to Surya Namaskar A, there's many techniques that when practice, prepare the conditions for change. And the, the, you need this change to be able to learn to jump forward, jump back, jump through, or even jump up into Bakasana and fly like a bird. So let's begin by coming to Downward Facing Dog. From the downward facing dog, jumping back to standing is Supta of Surya Namaskar A. Supta, inhale, jump forward, land short, press through the hands, extension through the spine. Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, all the way up. And Samasthitihi. So on the full vinyasa and Surya Namaskar A, this is to prepare the hands for the hand standing work. So the hands must be always flat. Summer steady. A, come inhale the arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Let the knees bend. Instead of putting the hands in line with the fingers, put the hands forward so that you can really press your hands into the floor and be a quadruped. So on three knee, it's a quadruped. You push through the hands, extend through the arms, straighten the back, straighten the legs. Ashto, exhale the head in. Now, Supta is the same. Press through the hands, extend through the arms, extend through the spine. Ashto, fold. Nava, inhale all the way up. And Samasthitihi. So in Surya Namaskar A, the first 1% technique is to keep the hands flat. When you jump from Supta forward, you jump short of the hands to remain flat in the hands. I'll demonstrate that again. So if we go back to Shat, on Supta I want to not just jump forward, I want to jump up and land short. I can then press through my hands, press through my legs as a quadruped, extend Supta and Ashto 8. So let's go back to the downward dog. The technique there was from a dog to a cat, bend your knees, and Supta is to jump up and land. Press through your hands and extend. And Ashto, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale the arms up. And Samastadihi. So my recommendation is not to go onto your fingertips. I'll demonstrate. A, come inhale the arms up. Dwe, exhale, let the knees fold a little bit. Hands flat on the floor, forward of the feet, so we're a quadruped. 
three knee when we're a quadruped and we're able to push i can take the weight forward because in order to jump back i'm going to have to shift from feet to hands to jump up if i go up onto my fingertips i'm losing the development of my latissimus dorsi and uh, serratus muscle so if you go up onto the fingertips what's happening is you're lengthening through the spine but you're lifting with the rectus spinae muscles if i put my hands flat on the floor then i can bend my knees and then i can relax and then press into the armpits extend this point will be able to let me go a push into earth to jump back same on supta if i'm coming forward I want to keep the hands flat, keep the hands flat, press through the arms and extend. Ashto, exhale, fold. Another inhale, come up. And samastadihi. And so, this way, what we're really trying to do is to work the latissimus dorsi and the serratus muscle. I call this armpit bundle.